Hey, uh, welcome to another tutorial from uh, WordPress Page Builders Academy. Uh, we have an extensive library of tutorials for uh, all the top WordPress page builders. So be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you, you see them when they come out. Okay, now on to today's tutorial. Hi everyone and welcome. Uh, so in today's tutorial, we are going to dive into Brips Builders form element. Uh, forms are the best way to collect your site visitors uh, contact information. Whether you're doing it through uh, quote forms, email newsletter signups, or having your users create an account just to buy something like your site, uh, Brits has great design options for you to build your forms out and also a lot of customization options for when and how your form appears on your site. So by the end of this video, you'll be able to create and customize forms with ease using Brits Builder. So let's get started. First, let's access Bricks Builder. Once you're in, uh, click add new to create a new page or edit the existing one. Now, let's add a new section where our form will reside. Uh, simply click on the plus icon and choose section. Now that we have our section, let's add the form element and click or drag it into your section. We drag it that will display three fields in the submit button by default. Uh, the three fields are name, email, message. So now let's uh, customize the form a little bit. Uh, click on the form element to uh, bring up its settings panel on the left. So if you're doing just a basic contact form for your site visitors to reach out to you, you'll want at least their name, email, and the message field. You can also edit the fields. Uh, for example, you could change the text field type, the areas label, and the form fields placeholder text. You can uh, set the width of your text field. Uh, by default, it's full width. Uh, you could adjust the width uh, of the field. Uh, it would modify the form fields accordingly. Um, you could also mark certain fields as required. Text fields are given unique IDs that you could not modify or edit. You can also customize the typography of the labels and text field or Again, that will apply to all fields. Okay, field options. Uh, in this section, you find field specific styling options. Uh, you could adjust the field spacing, padding, as well as the alignment, background color, border, and typography. Okay, submit button uh, section. In this session, you could customize options for your submit button. Uh, there are preset options available to accept the button size and style. Um, using the options next to it, you could create your own designs or select one of the presets if uh, you prefer. Okay, now on to action options. Uh, this tab is where you decide what happens after the user fills out their form. Uh, you need to specify what will happen when the user enters information and clicks the submit button. Selecting one of the actions from a drop down will open up a new option regarding that specific action. Uh, you could also select multiple actions. Um, on the screen, I'll display what each action means. But before I do, please do me a favor and click the like button on this video and subscribe to our channel. This will give the video a chance to be viewed by more people so we could keep making these tutorials. But anyway, as promised, uh, back to the video. Here's what each action means. Okay, so you see the email and confirmation email settings here. It is there because the default action is email. If you were to remove the email action, these would disappear. Um, anyway, let's... Uh, we'll, Go over these two options a bit since uh, it could be a little confusing. Um, this email setting here is what the system will send you, the site owner, every time someone fills out your form. So you could set your selections here and your settings here. Um, here on the screen, you will see Brick's explanation of each of the fields. Now, right below it, you will see the confirmation email option. This is the settings that you would want to set if you were to send your site visitors a confirmation email after they have successfully filled out your form, which I recommend because sometimes if you don't send it 
your users will never know if they successfully registered or not. Now, below the confirmation email setting and suspend protection settings, you would definitely want to set this if you don't want to be inundated with spam. This is a must. So we just covered email action, but like I said, there are various other action options, including creating your own actions. But if you want to create your own custom action, you will need to know a little bit of code. Um, for the sake of brevity, we will not go over all the actions that BritCast offer, but we did write an article with a great overview of all the actions and their settings if you are interested. Uh, it's in the link in the description box below. Uh, we will probably also do a future video on all the action elements or all the action in form elements. So be sure to subscribe to get notified get. But I do want to say a little something about integrating with email providers, though. Um, if you want to integrate with third-party services like MailChimp or SEMGrid so that the email addresses of the users that filled out the form are also copied to your accounts over there, you could do that with the respective actions. Um, to do so, just select it from the action drop-down um, and set settings and provide their API key in your Bricks settings. Now, if your email provider doesn't have out-of-the-box integration with Bricks Builder, like for instance, if you have Aweber, then there are a few options. Um, one, you could use the email service provider's form builder instead to embed onto your site. Two, you could use Bricks uh, custom form actions. Uh, of course, this would require knowledge of some code. And third, you could use a third-party plugin. Make sure it's a reputable plugin, though. Uh, we'll go more in depth into uh, custom actions for integrating with other email providers in the, in the video. Uh, we will also have a link uh, below for integrating with uh, different uh, email service providers that do not have out-of-the-box solutions with Bricks Builder. Now on to uh, styling the form. Um, Let's uh, make it more appealing. So select the form and in the styling panel, you could change the layout, alignment, and spacing. Uh, to customers the fields, click on each field and adjust the color, uh, border, and pen to match your site's design. Um, for instance, you could change the background color to fields, add border radius for rounded corners, and adjust the padding for a more spacious look. So yeah, play around with the settings and see what looks best for your site. Now, as you are working on your form and finishing your form, uh, preview and test your form. Click on the preview button to see how your form looks on the live site. Uh, also make sure to check out form looks and functions on mobile or tablet also. And uh, once you are done, submit a test entry uh, to ensure that everything works correctly. Check your email order connected email service to verify that the submission was received and everything works as planned and as expected. And that's it. That's our tutorial on using the form element in Bricks Builder. And so hopefully by now you know how to use the form element a bit to create your uh, form with Bricks Builder. Um, I can't say this enough. Thank you for watching. And if you can, please press that like button and press the bell and the subscribe button and come back to our channel for more tutorials. Uh, that's the feedback that uh, let's us know that our tutorials are helpful and they're being valued. And by doing so, uh, the videos get recommended to other people that are looking for these tech tutorials. So again, thank you very much. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave it below. Thank you. And until next time, bye.